Welcome to Booze Reviews, and I'm me. And I'm Wayne. And today, we're going to be reviewing Dragon Stout. Mm -hmm. Dragon Stout, as you can see here, is a Jamaican stout. It's a strong drink by UK standards. Comes in at 7.5%, tasty. Um, this is only a 284 milliliter, milliliter bottle. But in Jamaica, just for information, you can get very large bottles, a litre bottle of Dragon Stout. You can't get them in England. I'm not sure if you can get them anywhere else in the world, but you definitely can get it in Jamaica. Um, but as I say, this is a Jamaican stout. Um, I have no idea what it's based on. Barley based, of course. But um, go make it. I like this beer. I've had it before. So let's try it. Let's just try it on the nose, see what we can get mm. up for that. Now, I've drank this drink many, many times before, but I've never actually put it to the nose. And it's quite creamy, mm. in my view. Quite creamy with a caramel hint to it. It definitely, yeah, it doesn't hit my nose hard or anything. To me, it's just quite mild. It's very creamy with a, as I say, a caramel, stroke toffee touch to it. And here we go again. We got the flipping, um, this is some little lawnmower oh, going around the corner. Right, yeah. But Wayne, what do you think? What do you think of the nose? Yeah, I mean, basically, I'm, I'm not a heavy drinker. Not really much of a drinker, but I am used to drinking Dragon Stout. Um, for me, the smell is very familiar. Uh, that's how I would describe it. Um, a lovely smell. Um, and very, very, a slightly exotic smell, but not too exotic. Something that most people can get used to. Mm. Um, Surprised it isn't a massive hit in this country. Um, it just needs a bit more exposure. Um, I've drunk it here, and I've drunk it in Grenada. Um, and uh, oh, you got it in Grenada as well. Yeah, it never used to be, but it's now available all over the Caribbean. And uh, it is a drink that is gonna gonna fly. One day it will fly off the shelves. It's it's time will come. But this way they're selling Tesco's. Apparently, yeah, supermarket. Yeah, maybe so it's available. Yeah. Anyway, let's hit the tongue and see if we can describe that in detail. This is a nice stout. I like this. It's not like Guinness, which is just pure coffee. You know, coffee with no milk. Bitter, sharp. This, they've definitely taken the edge off it slightly. It's a lot creamier. I'll tell you what, there's a drink that Caribbeans make. It's called um, Guinness Punch. And it's made with Guinness. Um, uh, what's it called? What's the milk called? Condensed, condensed, condensed milk. milk. Condensed milk. Yeah, yeah, condensed milk. Sometimes they put ice cream in it and a hint of vanilla, maybe some nutmeg. And it's a beautiful, beautiful punch. Now, they also make it with this. And this adds a real nice tinge to it. But we're not describing the punches today. We're talking about this drink. And I'll say... Mm, it does have a bitterness. If you don't drink beers like this, it will be bitter to you. If you do, it's quite mild. If you drink, say, Guinness, for example. What do you finish. think? On the finish, it's better. I've finished it. I said no more. Mm. You like it? Yeah, mm. 100%. It's a lovely drink. Um, even if you're not a drinker like me, if you do socially drink, you will love Dragon Stout. Definitely a barbecue drink, because the bottles are quite small. It's very, very high strength. You drink a couple of these, and you'll be in a party spirit. Anyway, listen, I'm going to join you and just get rid of this because I like it. Mm. Well, I don't know about you, Rob, but I've got to give this at least a five. Another five? Well, you see, I don't like to... Well, bottle is perfection. So I'm going to join you on this one and I'll give it a fat five. It's all around, it's got everything. If you're not into bitter drinking, it might be a bit scary. But if you are into drinking beers that are a bit bitter, this will, this will really go down nicely. Where's the bottle gone? Oh, where's our producer? I handed it over. Yeah. <laughs> no, gone. No, we like this. So I'm going to give it a five. He's giving it a five. That rounds up to a nice 10. 